Good morning everyone, I'm Melvin and I'll be your host today on board FPSO Abigail Joseph. So in case you're wondering, an FPSO is a floating production storage offloading facility. So are you guys ready for today's tour? Come, follow me. So this will be the vessel route for today's tour. And to get yourself familiarised with FPSO Abigail Joseph, here's the 3D model and the general arrangement. An FPSO receives fluids from a subsea reservoir through risers which then separate fluids into crude oil, natural gas, water and impurities within the topside production facilities on board. Crude oil is stored in cargo oil tanks of the FPSO and then offloaded onto shutter tankers to go to the market or for further refining. Before we go up the gangway, let us do a PPE check. Safety helmet, safety goggles, hand gloves and your safety shoe. Be sure to maintain three point of contact when going up the gangway. So my colleague Ashwini will take over from here. Hi, I'm Ashwini. We are in front of the gas compressor modules which basically comprises of three modules. The HP compressor module, the flash gas compressor module and the gas reinjection module. The flash gas compressor module and the gas reinjection modules are two new modules which are added for gas lifting and gas reinjection requirements and they are built in Singapore. The HP compressor module is an existing module where only a few bottle sizes have been changed and found to be adequate for the new process conditions. Let's find out more about these modules. These are the three compressor modules we have on the platform and the fundamental purpose of this, installing these three compressor modules is to reuse the gas which has been produced on the FPSO and avoid flaring which is detrimental to the environment. We have the flash gas compressor module which is a 2550% train and is installed at the outlet of the second stage separator to compress the low pressure gas before it is commingled with the gas from the first stage separator and sent for HP compression. The HP compression is a 3 by 50 percent train and one of the train has been decommissioned. This has four stages of compression and the gas at the outlet of the fourth stage of compression is sent for gas lift pressure requirements. Then we have the gas reinjection compression, which is 2 by 60% trains, and the outlet of this is sent for gas reinjection. Over here are the capacities of the different modules. And these are some of the pictures of lifting of these modules onto the FPSO. From contract award to our expected sail away, we have achieved this remarkable milestone in just under a year. This is probably the fastest redeployment project in both Keppel and Incense history. We also completed the dry dock activities in a month, giving the hull a fresh coat of paint. This shows you the remarkable transformation of FPSO Abigail Joseph. We are now at the separation module and my colleague Matthew will continue from here. Hi, my name is Matthew and I will be giving you an overview of the separation module. The separation module consists of crude separation, crude stabilization and produce water treatment. On this project, what is unique is that we had to increase the oil treating capacity by twice. How we achieve this is by performing an engineering study to determine the areas where we have shortfalls. So what we had to do is replace all the separation internals, had to add new equipment and change the sizes on the separation train. Here are the processing capabilities of Abigail Joseph. Oil separation is achieved through a two-stage separation process with interstage heaters, 
followed by a two-stage desalting process to stabilize the oil before it is cooled and discharged into the cargo oil storage tanks. On this project, to cater for the increase in oil processing capacity and the crew properties in Nigeria, we upgraded the internal components of the separators and treaters, installed new auxiliary equipment and increased the size of the interconnecting pipelines. This is the FPSO receiving facility, where it consists of the riser balcony, where crude and gas lines are being hooked onto the FPSO. Immediately here, you can see these are the pig receiving facilities. When crude are being introduced to the FPSO, the subsea lines are cleaned using what we term as uh, pig tools. I will show you around the riser balcony. For Abigail Joseph, the riser balcony was significantly redesigned to suit the number of risers and umbilicals that will be connected to the FPSO. There are 14 connection slots on the balcony, which also takes into consideration of future expansion plans in the field. We extended the entire balcony length and added a new top deck. A larger space not only allowed for new pulling wind sheaves to be installed, but also greatly improved the overall operability and material handling of equipment in this area. Now I'll hand over to Melvin, who will show you the accommodation in the central control room. This is probably the most important place on this vessel. It's a sanctuary providing a conducive environment for the people living on board. This vessel is not just an FPSO, but also a floating hotel where our crew can feast, work out, get themselves re-energized during their off time. Let's move on to the central control room. The central control room is the brain of the operations. It controls the operation of most process facilities on the FPSO and houses all normal and emergency control functions. The central control room is continuously manned 24 hours a day to ensure efficient, safe and effective production. We have come to the end of the tour and we hope you have a better understanding of what an FPSO is. And see you soon.